they are calling it cleaned air and they're going to be telling us all about it remember that if you have any questions you know feedback on our topics this morning feel free to reach out via the sms line on your screen and also i'm still giving away the books so if you feel like you need to fill your tank when it comes to your financial knowledge let me know why you deserve the book by reinhard atella which basically helps you to discover the hidden wisdom for wealth accumulation so right now let's jump straight into this i'm seeing that i have tony here and David. David. David yeah. Yes. So you have something going on on the table. Tell me about this. Is this the cleaned air gadget? Of course. This is part of. This is part of the yeah. gadget. Mm. So maybe let's let, let's start with uh, what this is. Cleaned air. I actually just got it now. Yani air yenye imeoshwa, sio? Cleaned air. Yeah, yeah, clean but you've yeah. chosen to spell it in a very swaggy way eh? yeah, <laughs> clean <laughs> yani hamge andika venye tichali sema c l e a n d it had to be k l i n d yeah, yeah. funny enough yeah this is how it's spelled in the dictionary so ah, yes, no yeah. man of course excuse you out at danganya hivyo i'm in dictionary gani ya dutch yeah the, the oxford dictionary that's how it's the clean is supposed to be clean like is that. supposed because, to be spelled like that yeah now because we add the, we added the ed so that's why it's d in the, yeah that's Live, how it's pronounced yeah. not spelled yeah. In the dictionary, just look at it. Just a phenomenon. That's that a you pronunciation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I just called you on something right wow. now. But anyway, jumping into, tell me about mm -hmm. why you were inspired to create this. First of all, I have to say we are young students from Jaramogi University, and uh, we are motivated by air pollution and tackling climate change. Uh, we are from the ghetto, most of us, so we, are, we have real, real uh, first-hand experience with air pollution and everything, including the matatus and everything. So we are we are motivated by COVID-19 too, because uh, most people are actually breathing polluted air as we speak, and also uh, indoor air pollution is also a not talked about problem. So we are tackling that, and we are motivated to actually ensure that we, our children, and everybody has clean air every time. And obviously that's one of the SDGs. Of course. Right. So what inspired you in particular to focus on creating this from scratch? Okay, uh, basically, uh, you know, we there's more information about um, outdoor air pollution. Yeah, so we, we thought of concentrating on indoor air pollution because like, you know, most lives are lost in silence. Like somebody sleep and in the morning dies uh, just out of nowhere. At the same time, um, with the pandemic that is the COVID-19, you know, uh, with our device, we trap, we, we, we remove the tiny particles in the air, we mitigate it, okay, and give back to the room where you are, clean air, yeah. So, I'm looking at the device, mm -hmm. and right now it seems like it's still a prototype. Sure. So, I'm sure you have a vision around where you want to go with this. So, probably just walk me, walk me through how it works. Cool. Okay, so basically, we have our monitor, it senses the air and can display in your phone just by a tap and you can see the, the quality of air in your house, indoors, in your car, in your school, anywhere that is indoors area. And uh, this now is the purifier, just a prototype of the purifier. We are using a unique uh, bamboo filter based on our secret mechanism that can be able to actually tackle the dust, uh, odors, uh, volatile organic compounds. So now after the sensor gets to sense the air, it actually stimulates through a uh, the internet of things uh, technology it stimulates the air filter to actually filter uh, f clean that air for you and then at the end of it all it measures the quality of air and tells you before this was the quality of air and now because it's clean now these are the levels so how can you tell using the laptop yes you can tell via the laptop the, the data will be actually be displayed and we also, we're also working on a program an app so that you can be able to tag uh, to monitor all your air quality wherever you are anytime so what are your plans with this invention is it something that you're looking to perhaps get an investment in so that you can scale it up and perhaps roll it out into the market because i can imagine for most people uh, it looks like a prototype. I mean, I can tell that you are very creative, mm -hmm. even with a bottle. That you know, that's pride, right? Wow, yes. So I can imagine that that's not what you're gonna be selling of long course. term. Yeah. This is more or less the mm -hmm. inception yeah. phase of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So like basically, um, these are you know we have an air air monitor and uh, the purified itself. So we are scaling up so that we can be having this combined together, so that it will now be labeled cleaned air. Yeah. So um, the you know there there are some technology that we have, we have incorporated such that it will be able to purify the air within an, an indoor room. Then also give you the real statistics of your room, such that you can also monitor it on your phone. And you know I've left a child back at home. Yes, this is the air quality that is at home. 
Okay. And you sure. know they say all dreams are valid mm-hmm. because they, there might be someone who's watching and not necessarily understanding. Ah vijana wanaongea nini hapo na Tamima. Yaani wako na chupa juu ya meza. Okay. So probably tell me what mm-hmm. as young inventors what are mm-hmm. some of the challenges that you go through even being able to come on this platform mm-hmm. and to sell this idea that everybody might not really understand. Yeah. Actually it, uh, uh, something that I w- I've actually to tell you Tamima. Uh, we actually are presenting Kenya as we speak and Africa in whole. Uh, we competed in a global competition called Hal Prize and we won here in Nairobi. That is against 300 and other entrepreneurs with this, this idea. So this is just a small step of our vision. So uh, we have a couple of challenges but the most of all it's funds. You may get the connections but without the funds you cannot be able to scale to where you want so the the uh the most problem that uh the Kenyan startups or Kenyan operators face is the funds and the kind of support that we need to actually grow and scale to our levels so we actually are advocating for buy Kenya build Kenya absolutely yeah. and you know it's ironic because today you're here presenting it like this and the world will not really and when i say the world i mean kenya yeah, essentially yeah. we mm-hmm. not really take notice until you go on that international platform mm-hmm. you know you win some fancy award of course. some seed investor comes and gives you guys some you know yeah. thousands uh, or millions mm-hmm. of dollars then when sure. you come back here that's when guys will be like oh cleaned air yeah. and that's tragic yeah yeah so if we look at uh, kenya and perhaps because i'm sure you mentioned that you're young you, you, you're in university of course. and you mentioned that you know you come from the ghetto so mm-hmm. it's part of your inspiration yeah. what would you tell perhaps other young inventors like yourself who might have all these wonderful ideas but they don't really know where to start okay uh, what i can say about uh, that to our young people who are young as currently like all dreams are valid yeah and uh, you know um if you keep sharing and also like uh, share the, our our ideas actually we get to learn a lot like uh, in clean there a team of five and we really love learning that's why we share our idea we share our thought to people to give us more insights of what they think about at the same time you know time always time flies time flies and it's all about us uh, making good use of that time so uh basically uh, no idea is invalid your dreams are uh, Just plan yourself well, share whatever you, whatever you have, and uh, you're gonna make it great. Okay, yeah. super. And giving up should never be an option. It yeah, keep on trying. Like uh, you know, the history about Clean Air. Basically, our first competition was in 2019, half price, and we actually we just came from the university with our own funds, with our own pocket money, to go and try and have that experience. How much did it cost you to, as with your own funds, to invest into this? Right now with all the costing I can say approximately 50 plus k. 50k. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the, the the dream is valid. Yeah. The dream so, is valid and we really do wish you well. Wow. One thing I also have to add uh, and also add my fellow youths is that it's tough and also sweet. Yeah. It's challenging but it makes you strong along the way. So uh, giving up is not an option but also no one is going to empower you as youths. You got you got to empower yourself. Yes yeah, so that that's the dream that's what keeps us going as clean we empower ourselves because sometimes we go you you hit a wall but then you don't give up you come back with a smile reach structure and then move on until you make it here yeah. okay so let me ask you where do you see yourself in five years wow <laughs> i see myself as a champion of clean air in kenya in kenya and yeah. also africa and basically me i see myself as a you know as a youth motivator in kenya next five years and of course we pray to god that that dream comes true of course i remember if you have any questions let us know via the sms line on your screen or if you have any inventions and you have questions to them around how perhaps you can collaborate or come in and support their dream and their vision do let us know but right now let's go to some music when we come back we're going to be having a very young lady in studio who's super talented so stay tuned we'll be right back thank you <laughs> 